In this problem, we have a trigonometric equation. So in order to do this problem, um, the best way to do it is to realize that this almost looks like a trig identity. So if you have the sine of 2x, that's actually equal to 2 times the sine of x times the cosine of x. And so in this problem here, we almost have this. We have sine x, cosine x. We're just missing the 2. So let's go ahead and put it there. So multiplying both sides by 2. So 2 sine x cosine x equals 2 times 1 over 4. So now the entire left-hand side, 2 sine x cosine x, is going to become sine 2x. And that will be equal to 1 half. All right, so now uh, here is another really important strategy. Whenever you have like the sine or the cosine or any trig function of something that's not x and it's equal to a number, use this strategy. It's really powerful. So start by writing down your interval. So we know that x is less than 2 pi and greater than or equal to 0. Then you want to manipulate this. You want to make this look like what's inside your trig function. So you want to make this a 2x. So that means it's missing a 2. So you multiply each piece by 2. So 2 times 0 less than or equal to 2 times x less than 2 times 2 pi. So this piece here is going to be 0. So 0 less than or equal to 2x less than 4 pi. And to make it even cleaner, what you can do now is you can call this piece u. So we really have 0 less than or equal to u less than 4 over pi, 4 times pi. So now we can go back in here and then replace 2x with u. So sine of u is equal to 1 half. So we're looking for all of the values of u such that the sine of u is 1 half. So let's think. So the easiest angle we can use is u equals pi over 6. That's from memory. Let's go ahead and draw the unit circle and find the other answers. So here's the unit circle. And just remember that on the unit circle, cosine is the x-coordinate and sine is the y-coordinate. Because we're trying to get a positive 1 half, the other angles that we need that will be answers are in quadrant 1 and quadrant 2 because it's positive and sine is the y-coordinate on the unit circle. So our answers have to be in quadrant 1 and quadrant 2. So we know pi over 6 is an answer. So I'm going to write that down over here. So u equals pi over 6. The other answer is the angle that's over here and has a reference angle of pi over 6. And this is pi, so you can think of pi as 6 pi over 6. So the angle that is right here, let me draw it in a different color so you see it, and I'll draw it in blue. So this angle right here in blue is 5 pi over 6 because it's 6 pi over 6 minus pi over 6. So 5 pi over 6 is our other angle. But we're allowed to go all the way to 4 pi. So what we can do is we can just add 2 pi to each of these to get two more angles. So you take pi over 6 plus 2 pi. That's going to give us another angle. Let's simplify this. This is pi over 6 plus. Now think of 2 pi as a number over 6. So 12 pi over 6. So this is 13 pi over 6. Now do the same thing with 5 pi over 6. Take 5 pi over 6, and then just add 2 pi to that, so plus 2 pi. So that's 5 pi over 6 plus 12 pi over 6. Really beautiful stuff. And that's 17 pi over 6. It's a lot of work. And we can't add 2 pi again because then we'll go beyond 4 pi, right? So it'll, it would be 4 pi plus pi over 6, which is beyond 4 pi. 
So, so now we have to solve each one of these. So it's a little bit more work. So u, let's go back, u is 2x. So in the first case, we have 2x equals pi over 6. To solve this, you multiply by 1 half. And so we get x equals pi over 12. There is one of our answers. Boom. For the next one, we'll do u equals 5 pi, 5 pi over 6. And just like before, 2x is equal to 5 pi over 6. Multiply by 1 half. You can divide by 2. It's just cleaner to multiply. So x equals 5 pi over 12. Boom. The next one would be u equals 13 pi over 6. But again, u is 2x. So 2x is equal to 13 pi over 6. Then you just multiply by 1 half, multiply by 1 half. So you get x equals 13 pi over 12. Boom. Then one more, u equals 17 pi over 6. And again, u is equal to 2x. So 2x is equal to 17 pi over 6. Then you multiply by 1 half, multiply by 1 half, boom. x is equal to 17 pi over 12. And those would be all four answers. I hope this video has been helpful.